Hello students, welcome to the lecture number 11. Today we are going to start a new chapter. The chapter is center of gravity. Now just imagine what is the word saying. Center of gravity. What is the meaning of center? Center means a point. A point which is in the middle or which is the main point that is known as center point. Now, what is the meaning of gravity? Gravity means weight, gravitational force. You must know about this. Now, what is the combined word same? Center of gravity. So, center of gravity means the point at which the weight of the body is concentrated. Okay. Just imagine. Let us check. Suppose this is a pen. Where is the center of gravity of this pen? You can imagine this pen as a straight line okay so this is the line so on the line where is the exact point at which the weight of this pen is concentrated that point is known as center of gravity of this pen okay how can you define it just randomly we can check it practically suppose i am holding this pen from this point okay so the pen is in straight horizontal position okay it means what the center of gravity of this pen is resting at this point okay this particular point from which i am holding this pen but what happens if i am holding this pen from some another point let us check hold it very lightly not tightly okay let us see now i am holding this pen from this left corner okay let us check what happens oh see this the pen is bending the pen is bent down in the right direction it means what the weight on the right side of the pen will increasing so this point cannot be the center of gravity of the pen okay similarly let us check again okay again i am holding this pen with midpoint Okay, so again this is horizontal. So this point is the center of gravity of the pen. Right? Let us see some another point. Now I am holding this pen from this point. Let us see what happens. Oh, oh. The pen is again going down, not remains horizontal. So it means at this point also center of gravity of the pen is not existing. Okay, so there is only one option to keep the pen in horizontal straight position. The pen must be hold at the midpoint. So keep the pen horizontal, hold the pen from the midpoint. So it will be the center of gravity of the horizontal pen. Okay, so in this chapter, we are going to study about many, many center of gravities like for the lines, for the circles, for the semicircles. Similarly, we will understand the center of gravity of some 3D volumes also, like cylinders, cones, spheres, etc. Now, this chapter is very lengthy. Actually, the center of gravity means to find the center of gravity. To find center means what? To find center means, suppose this is the center of gravity of the pen at midpoint, then we have to find its coordinate. It's coordinate in 2D means X coordinate and Y coordinate for that. What you will need? You will need X axis and Y axis without axis. You cannot find the coordinate of the certain points. So first of all, what is our need? Our need is to calculate the point. Our need is to locate the point exactly on the substance. Then after the location, we have to calculate its coordinate from y axis and from x axis. So that coordinate is known as x y coordinate means to find the center of gravity. The coordinate may be in meters, may be in millimeters or may be in centimeters. By locating and by finding the center of gravity, we will design the structures. Now what is the practical application of this center of gravity? First of all, to remain this, uh, any substance, any pen, any chair, any tables stable. Okay, so for this method, center of gravity is must required. 
you also have imagine in your classrooms suppose two or three friends are sitting on the benches okay and somehow somehow due to unbalance of the weight of your friends and you the benches is getting unstable like this oh oh oh, oh. okay so this time you are trying to stable yourself oh oh okay so by this way you are again keeping the center of gravity at original place so when center of gravity will disturb your obstacles are much more means what when center of gravity disturb your benches will get disturbed and maybe it fall down okay similarly for the buildings if the build if in the buildings center of gravity is are not at the appropriate place then buildings may be collapsing okay it means what if center of gravity is disturbing it means what indirectly the load on the other elements will be increasing or some load on the remaining element will be decreasing so this increase and this decrease in the load will disturb the center of gravity so by disturbing center of gravity the building can be failed okay so first of all we are going to study the center of gravity of 2d element then after we are going to study center of gravity of 3d element okay so first of all we will start with the 2d element center of gravity we will calculate the center of gravity we will look at the center of gravity we will find the center of gravity on x and y axis okay actually the fixed formulas are there like for the line what is the center of gravity for the semicircle what is the center of gravity for the triangle what is the center of gravity and according to that formula we are finding x and y coordinates of center of gravity actually this formulas are also derived formulas with the help of integration so first of all we will find the coordinates we will start some numericals also then after we will derive the formula by integration method okay so it is the reverse process i am not deriving the formula first i am just showing how the formula is applicable in the numericals then after we will derive the equation of the formula okay so let us see some coordinates of center of gravity approximately i will show you the coordinate of line straight line with different cases let us check on the screen okay students so let us check the coordinate of the center of gravity of a straight line first of all i am drawing a straight line like horizontal line okay now what we have to do is we have to do draw two axes x axis and y axis let us let us check how from the left side from the left corner of this line you just have to draw the x axis horizontal x axis actually overlapping this line but i am not drawing it intentionally from the same left corner you have to draw a y axis also this is the y axis this is the x axis now where is the location of center of gravity at the midpoint of this line means it is g center of gravity so if the length of this line is l suppose then this distance up to cg will be l by 2 so l by 2 means this distance is known as x coordinate of the cg okay and this point is resting on x axis so its y coordinate will be zero okay so what is x coordinate it is l by 2 and what is y coordinate it is zero so this is the case number 1 when the line is resting on x axis the coordinate of the line of the center of gravity is x coordinate will be l by 2 and y coordinate will be zero let us take case number 2 if the straight line is vertical then what happens from the bottom of the line just draw x axis and from the same bottom overlapping the line you can draw y axis so where is the line this is the line center of gravity will be at midpoint g so total length of the line is l this line is l by 2 up to cg so this is the vertical distance l by 2 so this vertical distance is known as y in the same way this center of gravity is resting on y axis 
so its x coordinate will become 0 okay so now what are the coordinates x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is l by 2 for this center of gravity g so this is the case number 2 when the line is on the y axis in vertical position now let us check what happens if the line is inclined let us see if the line is inclined like this making an angle theta with horizontal suppose this is the center of gravity at the midpoint of the line so this length is l by 2 up to cg now draw x and y axis just from the bottom of the line end point draw an x axis then after draw y axis from the same point now we have to calculate the coordinates of this center of gravity g so this will be the x coordinate this will be the y coordinate for that concentrate on this triangle this triangle is a right angle triangle in which hypotenuse this hypotenuse is l by 2 making an angle theta with horizontal so what happens with the base and what happens with the vertical line the base will be l by 2 cos theta while this vertical side will be l by 2 sin theta ultimately these are the coordinates of this point g x and y coordinates so x means horizontal coordinate will be l by 2 cos theta for this center of gravity means this distance is l by 2 cos theta and this vertical distance means y coordinate will be l by 2 sin theta so for the inclined line x coordinate will be l by 2 cos theta and y coordinate will be l by 2 sin theta so these are the coordinate systems for the straight line in the horizontal position for the straight line in the vertical position and the fourth straight line same straight line in the inclined position see now this is the initialization of the chapter furthermore we will study the center of gravity of circle we will study the center of gravity of the semicircle we will study the center of gravity of even quadracircle separately actually this formula will be derived with the help of integration we will show the integration later on now when the things become tedious when if these shapes lines semicircles circles quadracircles are comes in combination to you okay suppose one figure is given suppose let us see one figure is given like this one line is given there then after a semicircle is given there then after at the end of semicircle one circle is drawn like this and you have to find the combination of cg this is the suppose semicircle and you have to find the combination of center of gravity of all these parts then it will become very tedious so separate formulas are there for this type of calculations okay so let us see lecture by lecture how the chapter uh, will going to be difficult will going to be tedious so in this chapter you will require calculator much more so always keep calculator with you and we will start this type of sums in the next lecture i will give you the list of formula for different shapes for the lines for the circles for the semicircles for the quarter circles remember this is the 2d lecture okay later on we will study the 3d also means cones cylinders spheres etc so keep calculator with you write down some notes in your notebook at your own while watching this video and we will start soon with numericals in the next lecture Thank you students. Goodbye.